Chapel Hill, they love to say if the good Lord's not a Tar Heel, why did he make the sky Carolina blue? Glad to have you with us. Keenan Stadium in Chapel Thrill and home to the North Carolina Tar Heels. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see the number 22 team in the country, the NC State Wolfpack, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the North Carolina Tar Heels. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Tar Heels offense takes the field. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The play-action fake. He wants to go deep. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk. And he intercepts it. Looking for more room. Touchdown, North Carolina State. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. You always want to come out and set the tone as a defense. Get a stop. Make a punt. How about this? Get the INT and take it back to the house. Way to set the tone for this defense early. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7 0. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it just past the sticks. Yeah, and I'd like to see the defense maybe be a little bit more aggressive, a little more in the face, because QBC's easy access. I'm going to throw the football. My receiver's got a little bit of space. He can get the first down. I'd like to see the defense make him work for it a little bit more. Hand off from the shotgun. 
Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. A strike downfield. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Tar Heels are flying down the field. Looking for space. It's Hampton. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Johnson looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He wants to throw it. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. That's perfectly fine. If I'm a defense, I'm going to give up some yards right there. Play deep, react to shallow. The running back catches the football. I come up. He gets a positive gain, but it doesn't matter because now I won third down and forced him on fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit. From 55 yards out, and he's got it. Never a doubt. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Smashes through. He had visions of glory on that return, but he'll step out of bounds at the 29. So the NC State Wolfpack comes out, and they'll have the ball for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. The RPO, fire complete to the left. Hey, what about that move to pick up a couple of extra yards? He's down at the 38. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. you got an opportunity right now. you got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Paul. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. He just has a nose for those little crevices to be able to find space, and he picks up the first down. 
Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Collins. Tackled immediately after the catch. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. Looking to pass, it's McCall. He's got his man, and he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Trying to find his man on first down. They're working that left side. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Our coach said you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. They'll try to pop the draw. And the ball's out, and they're after it. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground. But a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. The Tar Heels will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Looking for space. It's Waters. Dances away from one. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yard of situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. They'll give it to the back. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give out of the gun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. 
on third and long. He has to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Rodgers. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. We've reached the end of the quarter, and NC State has the edge. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. NC State on the move, set up with another first down. The give on the inside. And he could not get loose on the run. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. Tackled at the 31. They'll give him six on the play. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. On the move, it's McCall. Going to take a shot. Got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 14-3. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Everybody talks about DBs, and they talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. You know good and well the quarterback wanted to push the ball down the field, wanted to throw for the first down, couldn't do it because the defense had taken it away. He did the right thing, didn't turn it over, dumped it off to his running back. His running back bought some positive yards, but guess what? Now it's decision time. It's fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. It's now second down after the short completion. Looking for room. It smothers. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. That didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. 
Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominated at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. NC State at the line with the first and ten. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The give to the back. Got the first down and more. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. North Carolina State defining efficiency on this drive. To the ground, he's got it again. Shows him the stiff arm. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing them. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Finds his big tight end. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On the option. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. NC State will line up with a first and goal. Barges ahead, and he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, NC State! That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner is stopped. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and re... That's a live ball. And the defense snatches it, and they reverse the field. Touchdown, Wolfpack. The defense with the scoop and score. What a big-time play for the defense. Not only forcing the fumble, but scooping it up, taking it all the way to the house. That's how you change the momentum of a football game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point gives them a 28-3 lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. On the move from inside is five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. They'll throw it on first down. He uncorks one deep. And he hauls it in inside the 30. And they'll do more than move the chain. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. This offense capable of exploding at any moment. Now they're set up inside the 30 with a first and 10. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Down to the three yard line and that's where they'll have it first and goal. Well, the defense has got to be able to get home. I mean, that quarterback had all day to throw from the pocket. Somebody up front for this defense has got to be able to win and force the ball out of his hands a lot sooner. And this is a really important series of plays, a chance to cut into the lead just before halftime. Johnson wants to throw it. He caught it. They will score. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point cuts the lead to 28-10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Finds a tight end. They'll immediately call timeout. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. 
I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tag. Quickly complete. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking for a man. It's McCall. Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Wolfpack will have first and 10. He wants to throw. Caught near the sideline, it's Concepcion. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. After the first down completion, it's second and short. He's looking to throw. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Tar Heels will kick it off to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. They'll open this third quarter with a run. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They go to the ground. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's McCall. Throws for the tight end. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. That is a good omen for this defense. They were getting lit up in the first half. They knew something had to change. So to set the tone like this early on their opening drive of the third quarter and get a stop on third, that should really help their confidence. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. 
There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on, now I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go nowhere to go and the ball is loose he's got the ball and he'll try to pick up a few Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it still a good stick still a good physical play keep hitting that quarterback And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got him downfield. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Off the play fake on first down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? The offense recovered its own fumble. They'll go to the ground. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. It's complete on the right side. Slips one guy, and now he's loose. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. The Tar Heels have their offense in high gear. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Well, no doubt that was the primary target the quarterback wanted, just not on the same page on that one. Now second and ten. They'll run play action. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open and they find holes. In and makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tar Heel! Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to get back in this ballgame. Lining up for the PAT. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. There's a live football. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You, you work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Grab behind the line. It's Hampton. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Johnson looking to throw. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. They put it on the ground last time they had it. Got to take care of it this time, David. And I think you've got to put in context. A lot of times, fumbles are just luck. You, you just got to move on, give him the football again, Jesse, and, and not worry about it. I think that's a good point there, David. Get him the ball again to help him play the next play and know that he's okay. Because when that guy's playing well, this offense is on fire. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll try the run. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. He unleashes a long one. Snatches it on the right. Touchdown, North Carolina State! And they take it in for six more points. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it in with a huge play, an 80-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. It's a draw. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. 
six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll go right back to the run. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He just needed a yard on third down, and there just wasn't any room to pick it up. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. And the Tar Heels line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Wide open downfield. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Wolfpack! And the stomping has commenced. He has been surgical. Precision passes, using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. We've reached the end of the quarter, and NC State has the edge. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. The Tar Heels with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Makes his connection. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. He'll just keep slinging it. He's got his man. 
And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down into 37. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. And the Tar Heels look to keep this drive humming. Johnson looking to throw. Oh, he makes a catch. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. QBs, when you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Now they'll try the right side. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Movement here from the tight end. Now the play fake. He's got it on the run. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. They'll go to the air on third and short. It's complete! And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Tar Heels have it with a first and goal. Gets it out quickly. Moving toward the end zone, and the ball is free. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. Gets it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. That turned out to be a free play with the offsides penalty. They'll wave it off, and the touchdown counts. He'll try to tack on one more. Smashes it through for the PAT. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Offense set on first down. Give to the running back. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
What a good job by the defense to force that play outside. And it's tough when you're a defense and you like to play fast and aggressive. Those counter plays are usually something that's good to run at them. But if you can be smart and stay sound and stay home and understand when people start pulling your direction, forget the fakes the other way, you can stay home, be productive, get big plays like this for your defense. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver, just understanding I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy, and I know I'm going to get contact. You run over the middle of the field on the slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Johnson wants to throw it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Nice job in coverage on that third and short. Defensively taking all the throws and options away for the quarterback. And now we're setting up fourth down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Makes the catch. He's got enough. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. They want to just keep throwing it. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. Johnson looking to throw. Into the end zone! Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. He's looking for an open man on second down. He caught it! And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. You got like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. What a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. Lining up to add another. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. 
That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Offense threatening first and 10 from the 31. The give and tick, 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 tick. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The handoff as they run the counter play here. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll have to find the line and generate some power. A 46-yarder from the left. Absolutely perfect. And that lead grows even bigger. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Johnson wants to throw it. Good timing on the quick out. At the 45 on its way. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you work in the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. That kind of play will send a surge of energy through your offense. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 40. Using the quick game. They get him down after he makes a catch. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. He wants to pass it on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Jones. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid, we're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then and you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. Offense in a bunch formation. Wants to throw on second down. Makes the grab over the middle. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. If you like the stats, and I know you do, 
He's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's just been throwing bullets all over the field. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. Johnson looking to throw. Touchdown, UNC! And here they come, almost all the way back. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Just over 20 seconds to play. They must recover this onside kick to have a chance. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick. And they do. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. <laughs> 